hi everyone this is what's on my bookcase i really hope you enjoy this video please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you want to see more i would record me but i look terrible today i hope you enjoy it bye right guys so this is my bookcase i will just show you quickly everything down here sorry if my hands are a bit shaky so i will start from the top left um here is my impulse sprays this one is impulse teas red fruits and woods uh, this one is be surprised violets and red fruits and this is just a little travel dove um go fresh deodorant from when i went away and i had some left so just keep that one this is my kim kardashian glam perfume this is pretty much ran out now but I do really like this. It's not one of my favourites, but I do really like it. This is my Amani Diamonds. Uh, what's this one? Shower Gel. That came with the Armani Diamonds perfume. And this is just the Armani Diamonds body lotion. Here is the Armani Diamonds perfume. This is my favourite perfume. This is Beyonce Heat. And as you can tell, it's like the red one. I can't actually remember which one, it, what one that one's called. And here's my Zoella Sweet Inspirations Fragrance Body Mist. This is just my little pom-pom that I actually got free from Superdrug. There's my work key and just a little key ring. So I thought it was quite cute. Here is a, oh my god my nails look really bad, I apologise. This is a, I think it's a nose ring, it's just like a rose gold one. Uh, these are my bracelets that I got for my 18th and my 21st. I don't know why there's hair in them. <laughs> this was from my brother for my birthdays. This is from Primark, this is just, well I don't think it's from Primark actually, I think it's from Store 21. This is for my glasses. Uh, sat here is just my micro SD for my SD card to put in my Samsung tablet. This is a gift I got when I was younger. It must have been about 10 years ago now for my birthday that my older bro brother gave me. And it just says here, saving for shoes. It's just like a little money pot. Here is my first Pandora bag. I just like keeping these bags because I think they're really pretty and like they go I think with like the rest of the bookcase. So there's two here. There's one there. And this is the ring with one from one of the Pandora bags. And this is just the princess other one that I got. So this is a jewellery box that my mum actually made for me. It was actually white with um, flowers all over it. But my mum, because she wanted it to go with the rest of my room, she actually painted it, waxed it and like shabby chic it. Because I quite like the shabby chic look. So I don't want to get everything out because I don't really want it to be a really long video. But basically there's just like bracelets in here. And what's this one? Yeah, just like bracelets. I think like loom bands and yeah, just some more bracelets in there. And just some necklaces in there. So now we'll do the second shelf. So this is a money pot that Toby actually got me from Debenhams. It was for Christmas and it actually came with chocolate coins and it had a label on it and it said it comes with chocolate coins. I was like, Toby, where are the chocolate coins? Obviously he'd eaten them. This is one of my purses. Obviously it's got owls on it. <laughs> I think this is just from like the local leather bag shop. Here is just a pen because you never know when you need one and have to write things down. Here is my charger for my electric toothbrush, which I do need to put on charge actually. Um, these are just my sunglasses from Primark. They're actually broken. Um, you can actually see where it's missing one of the, I don't know what it's called. Is it like a nose guard? I don't know, but these are really dusty. <laughs> right, this is my basket full of like medication, makeup sponges, plasters, um, like pain pillows, <laughs> I'm not like, it probably seems like I'm a bit of a druggie, you know, this is really bad. Uh, obviously, IBS tablets. <laughs> um, Lymocycline, my acne medication, the sun cream in there, oral gel from when I had a really bad wisdom tooth. 
Oh, I've been needing to find this. This is my simple kind of eye soothing eye balm. Right, let's start with some hair and skin products. So this is my hair therapy oil, argan oil. Uh, this was from Superdrug and it wasn't actually that expensive. I know you can get like really good ones like for a bit like more money, but this does the job for me. And here is my Nivea cream. This moisturizer, I don't really go to, like that I don't reach for because I find it's quite heavy and it doesn't really, it's quite thick and I'm more into like thin, more lightweight moisturizers. Now here is my Dual Action Moisturizer from Clean and Clear, oil free moisturizers and helps prevent spots and blemishes. This is pretty much my go-to moisturizer if I'm having like a really bad skin day. After a shower, I will come out and put some of this on. It's really good. It pretty much works like within like the first day. Here is my coconut oil. I like to just smother this. Oh, it's so dusty, it's disgusting. Um, oh, it's like greasy as well. I've like left it like, ugh. Um, so I will pretty much go to this like after a shower. It's really nice to just put like some coconut oil like all over your arms, on your legs, and it smells really good as well. So this is my VO5 Nourish My Shine uh, Bedazzling Oil Heat Protector. And this is really nice and it smells lovely uh, every time I wash my hair. I'll come upstairs and just like dry it with a towel and then just like spritz some of this on it. Yep, it's really nice. Um, and this is pretty much empty, it's just my Vaseline Intensive Care Cocoa Radiant with Pure Cocoa Butter. Uh, just basically a moisturiser, it is pretty empty, I will need to purchase probably another one of these. I really like this moisturiser because obviously cocoa butter smells really nice and it just feels really moisturising on your skin. <laughs> this is my simple Sensitive Skin Experts Kind to Skin Soothing Facial Toner. I will probably go to the simple cleanser and toner, like they're the ones that I reach for because I've got very sensitive skin so these are really good. Here's just my Zoella Foam Sweet Foam Cleansing Shower Gel. This smells amazing. And here is my Zoella Bath Latte, which as you can tell, it's empty, but I just really like the bottle, so I don't really want to throw, throw this away. Here is my little Me To You notepad, which I really like. The pen doesn't actually work. I don't know if I wrote anything in this. Or I've tried to by the looks of it. <laughs> uh, here's just my WH Smith gift card that my parents got me for Christmas and I haven't actually used it yet and it's now November. <laughs> right, so now we're on the third drawdown. Well, it's not really the third drawer, it's the second, but obviously it's the third lot of stuff that I'm showing you. Here is an empty bottle of my Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. I do need to throw that away. Here's just an eyebrow <laughs> brush that I need to put back with the brow kit. That's the Rimmel brow kit. Here is my little chip, like Disney chip thing from Disney, the Disney store that my friend brought back for me. But I just love to put all my brushes inside it. I just think it looks really cute and obviously like the pinks and the white, I just think it goes really well. Here is my Rimmel Fix and Perfect Primer. It is just the brush that I like to use like for my contour or some highlight. I think this was from Superdrug, I'm not 100% sure. Here's just some Rimmel Match Perfection. Yeah, this is pretty much empty too, but I, try, I like to use like the lid and just get a bit of the brush from there because this is quite a nice lightening foundation. Here is my Lush Bath Bomb that I haven't used. It's been making my room smell lovely though, <laughs> but it's the Intergalactic one. I'll just show you now. I don't really want to take it out of the bag because it's quite messy, but that's just the Intergalactic um, Bath Bomb. As you can see, it's really pretty. And when you put it in the bath as well, it is really glittery like it is now. Here is my Life is Sweet bag by Zoella again. I like to just put my sanitary towels in here. <laughs> I know that's a bit TMI, but I find it's just like it fits nicely just to put like two or three in. Like if you're going out and you don't want people to see them in your main bag. So it's nice to just put them in here. Just keep it a bit more discreet. This is just some makeup. Just my Revolution uh, blush palette. Revolution eyeshadow, uh, a contour kit, a sharpener, a stay matte powder, uh, just another blusher, so MUA eyeshadow, uh, a dirty powder, <laughs> powder, what do you call it? A powder pad, that's what I mean. <laughs> and 
and this is just like a Maybelline Master Brow Palette, which I didn't actually get along with. So it's just been sat there not doing much really. Uh, here is my purse. If you watch my What's In My Bag uh, video, you will see me talking about this purse, but I love it. In here is my cleansing stuff. This has actually got a simple cleanser, toner, and a simple purifying skin moisturiser. This is just a little box and it's got paper inside it so like keep notes and stuff so here are all my dvds if you see anything you know that you think hmm, why is a 21 year old watching films like this please do not judge just to let you know these are for my nieces stay over and they use my bedroom as a spare room don't judge and i don't know what that is what is that oh i think it's a hair grip god these just get everywhere these are just all my dvds and the last one is my books as you can tell in between it my favorite books at the moment that i really loved was love rosie by cecilia ahan my bridget jones books obviously i do really like john green uh <laughs> smack day if you don't know what that is that's O from home do not judge Cecilia Rohan again. Uh, this is a really good book. This is actually a book that Zoella recommended on her book club. Uh, All the Bright Places. It's really good. I'm halfway through this at the moment. Um, as you can tell, well not halfway through actually, about a quarter through, but as you can tell it's got a little uh, bookmark there. Obviously the notebook. I started reading this as well. This is a really good book. And obviously Cecilia Rohan again. This is my dog's old collar she's got a new one on at the moment but this is from when she was a bit younger and i like to just keep it just as a keepsake she still smells like her which is really weird but i do not ever want to get rid of this these are just some blank cds uh more blank cds dvds phantom of the opera cd and these are just cds and like loads of like films that I've just put on there 